out here today. Heading up the hill to check on some traps. Lily looks really excited to do it. So today, as much as I hate to do it, I'll be pulling my traps out. Uh, not because I'm not catching a lot. When I decided to trap only for wolves this year, I knew going into it that I'd be really lucky to catch anything at all. So I'm pretty thrilled with the way it's gone. I, I did end up catching the one. But uh, there's some other problems that I don't want to talk about right now. <laughs> but... Uh, Anyway, I'm going to be pulling my traps out today, and which brings me to this. I wanted to kind of turn you on to another guy's channel. I've got my signs out here. Mainly because there is a lot of um, hound hunters in my area. And Christmas time, now that Christmas is over... I don't have as much to worry about there, but at Christmas time, a lot of people are up here getting Christmas trees, and they've all got a dog or two with them, and, you know, trappers don't really want to catch your dog at all, uh, and we don't want problems, and your dogs are plugging up our traps. We can't, <laughs> can't catch what we're after if your dog's in it. Kidding, of course. But anyhow, uh, born a hundred years too late. If you haven't seen his channel, look it up. He, it's a good one. He's down in, uh, I think, New Mexico, down south anyway, in the desert. And he rides around the mountains down there with a mule and a bunch of hound dogs. And uh, he does some really neat stuff. It's a beautiful country. The guy's got a good sense of humor, good personality. And if you haven't seen his channel, take a look. But uh, it's kind of funny what, what brought all this up, really, with the dog thing. When I first found his channel, he was having troubles with a trapper and uh, saying that the, you know, the trappers think that they should be the only ones out there and that the dog shouldn't be out there and all that. And uh, I told him, well, you know, please don't, please don't judge all of us by that guy. Is that guy sounds like he's not a very fair or likable guy. And most of us, we do try to warn people that there's a problem or there could be a problem and like I can say we don't we don't want to catch your dogs and <laughs> when I told him that through the comments at first he kind of took it the wrong way and then he realized what I was talking about and we've become friends through YouTube and I never really expected when I first started doing this YouTube stuff uh, to make friends like that there's there's uh, a lot of people that I've become friends with that I'll never probably meet in person and it's kind of fun it's a modern day pen pal type of thing but uh, now it's kind of funny because we'll we'll tease each other a little bit through the comments on yeah you got your damn dogs out there or or he'll say yeah you you damn trappers say that you know that you shouldn't be out there with our dogs and it's kind of been fun Anyway, take a look at his channel. It's uh, born a hundred years too late. It's a good one. Okay, so this is where my first trap is. As you can see, brush from the snow, my track's out of the snow. You can't tell that I was over there at all. It has snowed a couple inches since I was here last, though. Stay there, Lily. But, uh... There's kind of a bit of a crust here, and this trap's going to be kind of deep. Let's see if it'll even go off. I can find it. Huh. Yep, there it is. Well, it went off, but it wasn't the fastest thing in the world. Get out of there, Lily. Hey, 
Get out of there. Got some deer bones over there. Well, this snow is getting pretty deep. Which makes me think that they're probably down a little bit lower anyway. That this is kind of the the foothills. The timber timber line isn't uh, very far below me, and then it's all sagebrush. So they're going to be up here someplace, and they run the roads and things. Stay out of the deeper snow when they can. Oh boy, it does make it hard to walk though. But, My own dogs. Here, get out of there. I try to keep an eye on them because I know where my traps are, but I don't know where somebody else's traps might be. Anyway, my next trap, it's up here by that little tree. And I can see from here there's nothing in it. There's no disturbed snow or anything jumping around. So this one perhaps should be right about here. I think it probably froze down. It feels like it's probably froze down. So that would have done me no good anyway. Yeah, it's right there. Oh. Yeah, funny. See, that's that jaw is free. The trap's not sprung. It's right here. It's froze on this side. There it goes. Well, anyhow, that one would not have worked. The other one probably would have. So this trap. I'll be very surprised if it goes off. I haven't been very good about trying to keep it working. But it should be right about here. Yeah, it's froze down. That's one thing with these wolf traps especially. Any traps, but the, the wolf traps especially. Oop, there it is. Well, it wasn't froze down. It was just too deep. But, uh, anyway, those wolves, they only come through every, you know, two weeks, maybe three weeks, maybe more. So, when they do come through, you really want your stuff to be working when they do. There's nothing worse than finding your trap still set with a wolf trap right in the middle of it. But... Anyway, the, been short on time here lately, and haven't really been very, very um, good about keeping these working. So the rest of what I have is snares, and that's probably the biggest reason why, is because snares will stay working unless there's an ice storm or something. Uh, ice will build up on the cable, or the wind will blow them over and uh, knock them down. But they stay working where these foot traps don't. But I've already pulled out most of these earlier than this. So I only had just a few out right now. But I got about a dozen or so snares still out. So I'll go pull them next. Yeah, Lily smells my lure. There's no, no doubt that it was still working. The way I do these traps, most of the time I'll just go around a tree. I kind of gave up on um, my trap stakes and things. I got this big cable. Lily, quit. I got this big cable with a loop in it big enough to um, go around the trap like that. And I just go around a tree with it. Makes it a lot quicker and easier. Those stakes, I was using the, uh, oh, what do they call them? They're earth anchors. Wolf fang, that's what they were. Wolf fang earth anchors. 
and I like those but in this ground we got so many rocks it's really hard to drive them in half the time they'd go in about halfway and then I couldn't get them out again to move them over and when I did get them out they were bent and they're just hard to use um, they really do a good job they really work well but this ground it's just hard to do it and uh, I've never really tried drags one of our game wardens who retired now he's a pretty good friend and uh, he told me he helped a fella get a mountain lion out of the top of a tree that was tangled up with a drag on it and <laughs> I thought you know I really don't need that I'm not doing that so the drags are easier probably better in a lot of ways but these cables work pretty well now these first two snares I put them here because in years past I found wolves that went down these two trails here one of them is right here I've heard to see right there and then the other one is right here in this little gap between that bush and that tree And the way these work, kind of a, I like the way these snares are set up. Uh, the trapping class we have to take in Idaho for wolves showed us this a long time ago. You cut the snare in two and you put one of these double ferrules on them. And uh, what that does is it makes a breakaway, but it also makes it so it can only close so far makes a stop and uh, that way well, let's see when something goes through this this is a this is a one-way slide it slides real easy that way but then it binds and it won't come back it won't come back the other way and anyway this thing once it slides all the way down It can only close that far, which will let deer and elk out if they get it around a leg. Uh, this is a support wire. I got a. All that is is a is a nut that's been heated so it's soft, and then hammer that flat with a little washer, and that's the support wire. You just wrap it around a tree or whatever, and bend this to whatever height you want. And open your snare. The snare is cut. I forget how that many inches, but it's um, it's designed to be right at a um, 18 inch loop once it's fully opened. So that makes things pretty easy. There's no real guesswork on um, size. You just open it up where you want it and that's our to the end of the thing and that's where you want it and then like I say you can bend it around and make it pretty much any place you want it to be so they're they're pretty good setup really more signs out on this area these ones all I have out are snares so actually I'm not as worried about the snares as I am the foot traps uh, <laughs> I know a lot of people think that's backwards thinking but a foot traps gonna grab them pretty good regardless but the snares if your dogs ever been tied up before Generally, they don't fight a snare very hard, and it doesn't hurt them. Um, I've caught probably three or four dogs over the years in snares, and none of them have been hurt. One of them was a hound, and I ended up using the, the snare as a leash to bring it back to the truck. And uh, I haven't caught any, luckily, with foot traps. I hope I never do, but, so, but sooner or later, it's probably going to happen. But these signs, you know, they, 
they might help they might not you kind of open yourself up a little bit when you put these signs out because people know your stuff's there and they'll tamper with it or steal it now the fog is lifted actually it's laying down in the valley down there uh, pretty day You can see all that fog laying down lower. We're up above it here. Nothing but blue skies and sunshine. does not like these zip up windows. He wants to bite bushes so bad. Can't do it though. Sorry girl. The snow has gotten deeper since I put these here. These started out bottom of the loop right there about knee high. I don't know if you can see that or not. Now it's only six or eight inches off the ground. That last one is where the wolf was. He came right down that trail and into the snare. Another advantage to snares is that they don't require any bait. The uh, I do have a bait pile here close by, but there's no uh, there's no bait at the at the snare. And I can check them from a distance. If I can see them, you know, 50 feet away or whatnot, I can tell that they're 
empty and they're still set and I don't have to get any closer so you're not leaving a bunch of scent. With foot traps, uh, that's why I pulled out most of them already but those, those foot traps, that last one, uh, it was frozen down, it wouldn't have worked and the only way to keep those working really is to walk over to them and free them up once in a while and that leaves scent and it leaves tracks for people to follow and it's just kind of a kind of a bad deal in a lot of ways there it is very hard to see Grab my trail camera. So far I've checked it several times. So far there's been nothing on it at all. Not even a rabbit. Well, I don't have high hopes of seeing anything. There's no, no tracks here really. But uh, if there's something on there, I'll put it on here. And the last one. These things can be really hard to find and uh, easy to forget where you put them. <clears throat> so be sure to count however many you have before you set them. If you don't set them all, count however many is left and write it down so you know exactly how many there are out. You sure don't want to forget one of these. Boy, I'm out of breath. The snow is knee deep, and this one was up the, on top of a hill that I've been using just a little bitty dab of flagging tape. They uh, they say a long streamer can spook wolves. I don't know. They're so used to seeing it around this area that I don't know that it would, but I've just been adding just a little bit, just enough that I can spot them but anyway yeah this is <laughs> kind of hard to tell but this is pretty steep and the snow is knee deep so anyway no wolves everything's empty thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time and i'm probably not done yet at least i'm hoping see how things go but Season goes to the end of March for wolf trapping, and I'm really wanting to get somewhere out again, so I don't think we're done yet, hopefully. See you next time.